as you grow and scale your online coaching business, your focus on what's important and how you grow your business is going to change dramatically. When you're starting out, you're gonna be scrappy. You're gonna be looking at very low hanging fruit to start getting your initial clients. And then as you scale, you're gonna start looking towards paid ads, doing maybe some YouTube or some more brand awareness type campaigns. And they're very different. So what I wanna share with you in this video are the four stages of business and how the focus and the skill set that you have as a business owner, as a coach, as a creator, has to change and develop along the way. Before we get into today's content, go ahead and smash the subscribe button. That allows me to create more content like this to help you grow and scale your online coaching business. All right, so we're here. I'm gonna go ahead and dive into this. Here are the four stages that I'm gonna break down of where you're gonna be spending your time and energy. And a lot of this can be based off of just revenue goals. You're gonna see here there's stages. There are primarily where your clients and focus is gonna be. There's revenue goals, as well as the skills that you're going to have. You're gonna to have to adapt and acquire as you go from one stage to the next. Okay, so let's just go in order and I might actually change some of these skills as, as we're going through here. I'm reading them now. Stage one is, you know, your launch phase, right? This is friends, family, your immediate network. And the skill here, like when you're first getting started in business, can I actually get the result that I want to promise people, right? It's not about like sales or marketing or creating content. When you're getting started, it's Am I actually good at this and do I like this? I've seen too many people try to start creating content before they have an offer or a product or a service or whatever it is they're doing. So my recommendation is before you launch and start doing marketing and sales and all this stuff and build a website, no, just, just go help your immediate network, friends, family, people that love and support you and wanna see you succeed should be your first clients, okay? They should be and they should pay your normal rate. Stage one, launch. What's your offer? How confident are you at getting the results? And can you get the results? The goal here is, you know, can I make five grand on the side, just working with friends and family? It might be closer to three grand, you know, but look, I'm just gonna keep it at five grand because it's, it's a nice even number. But can I work and can I get about five grand in revenue? And the whole goal here is I'm just getting results. I'm proving that I like to do this, I'm good at this. Once we're starting to make that like three to $5,000 a month range, now it's, wow, this is actually picking up. I enjoy this. How do I grow this? And the next skill set you have to acquire is sales. Because when you're working in stage one with friends and family in your immediate network, you don't really have to be good at sales. They know, like, and trust you. You know, if they want the result, they're gonna pay for it. But in stage two, three, and four, you're gonna start talking to a cold market, which means a cold market is essentially just people who don't know who you are, right? Or they don't know, like, and trust you like your friends, family, and your immediate network do. They know you very well. They don't, you don't have to ask some hard questions. You don't have to be really good at sales. You can just be like, yep, this is what it costs. Do you want it? Yeah, of course, I wanna support you, right? That was me. That was me when I started. People just wanted to pay me because they liked me. And they also, they, they didn't have a problem that they wanted me to solve, but they paid me full price. I wasn't good at sales. Stage two, this changes. Now, now that we've got a product that we like, our next goal is how can we get to closer to the 10 grand a month mark? And we do this by warm and cold outreach. This is essentially networking, okay? I'm gonna call this networking. It's gonna be connecting with other people who are in my ideal client pool that I know I can help. So this could be following on Instagram, it could be friending people on Facebook, it could be connecting with people on LinkedIn, it could be going to local networking events, but it eventually, essentially all it is is I'm trying to connect with more people and see who has a need that I can fulfill on, which is sales. So you have to get good at sales to, to break the six figure mark. You have to get good at sales to break the six figure mark. That is the initial really big stage of business. Like, cool, you got an offer, a product, it works. Woo, that's fun, but it's really not a business. This is kind of still a side hustle, right? It's kind of a side hustle, it's fun. Stage two is when we start to actually enter the business. And now the skill set we have to acquire is sales, okay? 
So by the end of stage two, you've done sales. You've sold to a someone who doesn't know I can trust you. You've proven that you can help them. And now we get into stage three, okay? Stage three, and this is my opinion, okay? You could, someone else could say stage four is stage three. I'm just gonna tell you what I like to do, so we're gonna go with that, okay? So stage three, once we've proven our offer with warm and cold outbound, is when we're gonna start getting into paid advertising. When I'm saying this, in stage two, you're still creating content, okay? I don't, I don't want you to think that, you know, I'm saying warm and cold outreach, you're not posting on con anything at all. Stage two, we are gonna do some content creation, okay? But content creation is not gonna help you scale very, very fast at that beginner level stage. Content is a long-term play, that's why I put it in stage four. But I wanted just to make sure it was really clear you're, you need to create, be creating content in stage two and really also in a stage three consistently, but it's more of a nurture play. It's not the needle driver. The needle driver in stage three will be paid ads and doing direct response marketing, which is just very direct to the consumer from a paid ad that can convert somebody from cold traffic, doesn't know, like, and trust you to paying you and hopefully paying you thousands of dollars. Okay, that's what we wanna create. Stage two, we've completed it. We're doing warm and cold outbound. We also have a little bit of a content strategy. Stage three, we are creating organic content and now we're gonna supercharge that with paid ads. That's gonna move the needle forward because I know that if I put $1 in with paid ads, I should get three to $5 out. That's gonna be very scalable, very sustainable, okay? Other forms of paid ads, doesn't have to be Facebook or YouTube or Google. It can also be shout outs from influencers, from brand pages. It can be partnerships. A lot of times you do have to pay for these partnerships. It's like if you ever been to a CrossFit event or a weightlifting event, there are typically booths, right? Like a rehab booth. There's these booths, they're sponsors. They pay money to be in front of that audience that that event has gathered for them. Paid ads is the same thing. All you're essentially doing is you're taking Mark Zuckerberg's audience and saying, hey, I've got an offer. Do you want to come talk to me? It's the same thing, okay? But if you don't want to do Facebook or YouTube because it's too techy, you can also do those other avenues too. I like Facebook. I like YouTube. It's much more scalable. It's much more data-driven. So I encourage you to be open to that idea. The stage three, the skill you're going to learn is marketing, is marketing. You have to be good at sales before you're good at marketing. It's no good to get a lead from marketing if you can't close and you can't make a sale. So we learn sales first, then we learn marketing, direct response marketing. I like paid ads. We've also got a good organic plan, but paid ads are gonna help you get there faster because for every dollar I put in, I'm gonna get traffic guaranteed to go to wherever I'm sending it. Where organic, it's an algorithm game. Stage three, that's the focus. Right, we're learning marketing, we're getting into paid ads. This can help us go from 20 to 100K a month, okay? Stage four is where we're gonna double down on content, okay? So doubling down on content, and this is the longer term play. This may be videos like this, right? So I'm still in stage three, and I'm starting some of this stage four stuff. I'm in stage three right now, okay? My revenue is not 100,000 yet, it's at 60. So I'm in stage three and I'm moving towards stage four. And a part of that is spending more time being the face of the brand. So I'm gonna be doing a lot more videos like this. I'm posting a lot more on social. I'm doing both three and four at the same time right now. And I've gotten, you know, I've gotten through these two stages, which feels really good. The long-term play here is branding, organic, is making partnerships. And as that grows, as your brand grows, oftentimes this, can start to subside a little bit. I don't need as much paid eyeballs on me because I'm getting, I'm getting brand awareness. I'm getting podcast deals. I'm getting uh, opportunities to speak places. I'm getting all these things, people sharing my content to where now organic is working for me and I can kind of start to shut off some of the paid ads. I still will always probably use a part of paid ads, but yeah, it's just very valuable. In stage four, the, the whole goal here, like the skill here, I put as consistency, but I'm actually gonna change this because I actually believe that the stage four systems is really where the skill set you need to learn as an entrepreneur 
because things change, right? With paid ads, it's marketing. It's getting people on the phones and, and closing. Stage four is systems, because as I get to this point, I need more people <laughs> to help me. I need more people because more than likely at this point, people are gonna be taking my sales calls for me. At this point, people are probably gonna run my paid ads for me. At this point, like people are probably gonna be helping me with my YouTube and content strategy. So things will change as it goes that way. And the skill set you need to acquire is really, I'm gonna put systems and also becoming a good leader, right? Like, I mean, honestly, for stage two and three, you could still stick in this range and just have a bunch of VAs working for you. Stage four, you can't really do that as well. You need like high level people. So I hope this helps you kind of just see the progression of where things go. I think a big area that I, I see done, I want to say poorly, but just like missed opportunity is people wait for this too long and they have this stuff like start at stage two. And really like where a lot of the content creation and all the effort should go to is later on, once you've got a proven offer, a proven process and people know, like, and trust you because it's a long-term play to get brand awareness. It's a long-term play. And if you want to wait until you've got a big audience to sell to, you can, it's just going to be a lot slower for you. That's what I got for you guys today. If you guys, again, subscribe to the channel. I create videos like this all the time uh, to help coaches like yourself grow and scale their online coaching company. If you got any questions for me, hit me up on Instagram. Uh, and if not, I'll see you next time. Peace.